Now, despite all the bad news around Xbox as of late, we still got a showcase coming up on June 9th. And by the looks of these latest rumors, this might be a can't miss event. But let's break that all down up next. What's going on guys, it's Kalo, and I'm here to give you the lowdown on all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video and welcome to the level up. I gotta admit, talking about exciting news, especially around Xbox, kinda feels off-putting given the last week of news, but we got some good things to talk about, so let's keep the train rolling. The Xbox Summer Showcase is rapidly approaching, and we covered a fair bit of potential reveals that could be going down. And this ranges from things like a brand new Gears of War announcement, let's not forget we got some Call of Duty announcements in store, and that Call of Duty announcement comes in the form of what everyone and their mother assumes to be Black Ops Gulf War. And the list goes on. And I think of all announcements made at that showcase, this is going to be the most interesting one, mainly because I really want to see if they're going to give it that day and date release on Game Pass. But Activision might not be done there, especially when talking about Game Pass, mainly because they could have some wiggle room here to announce that mass migration of games over to Game Pass, which is something a lot of fans have been dying for. That right there would be enough to send me home happy from the show. But when I came across this batch of rumors for this showcase, things might have gotten just a little bit better. So let's tackle our first game here and we can thank Tom Warren from The Verge for this one. Quote, Microsoft will be banking on some new game announcements, lifting the doom around Xbox. But the company's gaming strategy still looks unclear and that challenge runs deeper than a handful of holiday launches. So, as you can see by that little excerpt, what's rather interesting here is that word Doom being italicized, which in my opinion looks to be a little bit of a tease. Now, looking at id Software's development timeline, things do start to add up on that front as well. The Doom reboot released back in 2016, followed by Doom Eternal in 2020. So, if we stick to that four-year development cycle, let's just say five, then a Doom reveal with somewhat of a close release date could be due. Xbox has a rather stacked lineup of games heading into the holiday season, with Indiana Jones and Avowed, let's not forget Microsoft Flight Simulator. You know, for those of you who do like that game. And let's not forget, we're just a few days away from Hellblade 2. So, adding in Doom to the fold here would create somewhat of a dream lineup for Xbox games. We also don't know if this Doom announcement could come at the cost of announcing it as a multi-platform title or a console exclusive. But again, that falls on leadership and their messaging, which we all know is rather unclear as of late. Now, the next game on the docket will be a big one and that comes in the form of Perfect Dark. And quite honestly, between Doom and Perfect Dark, I'd like to believe we get Perfect Dark here first. And that's just seeing how a reveal, and I mean a concrete reveal outside of that little teaser, is due. This is a game that's been in development for such a long time now, and Nate the Hate echoed these sentiments. But here's the kicker. He thinks all those rumors around the trouble development might be outdated news. Quote, at this point, I fully expect that we see Perfect Dark next month, and that some of the more recent rumors may be outdated information perhaps. I have been hearing things this week that Perfect Dark is not in that bad of a state. Now, I don't think this means all things are peachy with Perfect Dark, but it does leave me with some encouragement. Just revealing gameplay for this game alone will give me somewhat of a reason to believe. And when we really think about it, this game was revealed back in 2020. And quite honestly, I don't really expect it to release this year. So at the very least, we could get another in-depth trailer. And that's at the bare minimum. In closing, a showcase that would feature Gears of War, Call of Duty, Avowed, Perfect Dark and Doom sounds like a damn good showcase for me. I gotta be upfront with you guys. Every time we do mention something fun like Doom or Perfect Dark in this case, my excitement goes up but then I'm kind of taken down a notch or two just because of the bad news as of late. Things are just kind of in the middle for Xbox for me. But with all that being said, I'm going to pass this question off to you guys. What are some of the games you think make an appearance here? I'm kind of keeping my fingers crossed for a Banjo reveal. I don't know. I don't ask for too much lately. So Banjo would send me home happy. That's all I need. Also, I just filmed this bit after doing the outro. I don't really care for this game. There are a lot of people that do. 
How about some Hollow Knight news? We got, it's gotta be due. Somewhere, somehow, some way. We need some Hollow Knight news. I'm really pulling for you guys. But that about does it here. I've been Kalo. I gave you the lowdown in all things gaming. And if you're new here, feel free to subscribe to this channel for weekly video game news content. Drop a like on the video. And this has been The Level Up.